The Queen had issued grandsons William and Harry with stern divorce warnings before either prince were even engaged to their wives. Prince William, 39, and Prince Harry, 37, were warned by the monarch that enough is enough after the royal family was hit by several notable divorces. The account, first reported in the Sunday Express in 2006, came when the Duke of Cambridge was dating his now wife Kate Middleton, 40, whom he had met while studying at St Andrews University. The Duke of Sussex, who has since tied the knot with 40-year-old actress Meghan Markle, was at the time romantically involved with Chelsea Davy, 36. A Buckingham Palace insider revealed, the Queen is the head of the church and so from a point of principle she is opposed to royal divorces. However, she has witnessed the divorces not just of her sister Princess Margaret, but also those of her three eldest children. She now feels, to put it bluntly, that enough is enough. She does not want to name names, but she is adamant that there are going to be no further royal divorces during her reign. The source added, the concept of divorce goes against the Queen's whole upbringing, which is about duty and about soldiering on in the face of adversity. She inherited a lot of her views from her mother, who was scarred by the King Edward and Wallace Simpson scandal. Both Princes William and Harry have been in no doubt that when they marry, it's for keeps. It's felt that Harry would greatly benefit from several more years as a bachelor. The Queen, now 95, was thought to have made the remarks after several high-profile members of the firm had been divorced. The Queen's sister Margaret, who passed away in 2002, divorced Anthony Armstrong Jones in 1978. The Countess of Snowdon's divorce was also the first divorce in the royal family since Princess Victoria Melita of Edinburgh in 1901. The firm faced another divorce in 1992 when Princess Anne, 71, parted ways with Captain Mark Phillips, 73, after a three-year separation. Four years later, Prince Charles, also 73, divorced Diana, just one year after the Princess of Wales claimed there were three of us in this marriage when asked about Camilla Parker Bowles, 74. The Prince of Wales would go on to tie the knot with the Duchess of Cornwall in 2005. A few weeks before Charles and Diana's divorce, Prince Andrew, 61, and ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, 62, ended their 10 years of marriage. However, the Duke and Duchess of York still live together at the Royal Lodge in Windsor.